Bah, 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 bah. I, I don't know if it's exactly control. I don't know if it's um, Delver, if it's what, but it's Grixis. I heard there's a spicy standard card in it. I did hear that. Which tells me that it's probably more of a control deck. Yeah. I really like his decision. It's called Wrench Mine. That card's awful. <laughs> I know he put one in, but I think putting both in would have helped. I agree. <clears throat> oh, he also has Pyromancer, too. Spoiler alert. He has oh. Pyromancer is in his list, too. <laughs> it's Scarab, god dang it! <laughs> that makes sense! <laughs> oh, we're rolling again. Oh, my. Michael's gonna be going first. Scarab God is good. I like the idea of, of sneaking a Scarab God in modern, right? Do you? Like in a in a control list like this? Yeah. It's like if it's Grixis and you're just destroying every single creature, like your opponent's end step, you can, can be like, alright, I'll pay four mana and get back your creature. Right? Drain you one, scry one, gain one, all that kind of good stuff. I mean, I think you have to be really on point. Yeah for the scare of God to be good. Right, right. Like, you have to have all of... It's not a play from behind card. No. You, you've got to be complete advantage, disrupting their hand, disrupting the field, not letting anything stick for it to be like, yeah, okay, this is, this is good. This is what I want to do. Raging Ravine in tap for Matt. Michael, go into 19. Opt. 17. Let's make it happen. Opt it out. Told you. Oh. 17 off a watery grave. We're opting. I think. Thought scour. No, nope, thought scour. Dang it. Is that the enigmatic Drake? No, that's the, um, I think it's an uh, older version of Counter Squall. Oh, okay. The art for it. Yo, Mark Confidant on the board. <laughs> you see how I did that? That was good. You see how I did that? I, I like that. I was waiting so long <laughs> for a Dark Confidant to be played so I could shout out Mark. Uh, Creeping Tar Pit tapped. Here comes a Tassiger, easy. Yeah. Trigger. Seems like a good turn two play. Oh! Ooh, the, oh! I think that's like the only four drop he's got in the deck. <laughs> what a swing. All right, it is counter squall, okay. Pulse. Come on, Pulse. Yes! <laughs> Maelstrom Pulse. Dark Confidant getting it for two. Michael's down to 15. Oh, no. Missed a land drop. Oof. Losing a life. Down to 15. Thought sees. Dark Confidant is not treating Matt nicely. Or he is, because he's getting some cards. But. <laughs> he is. He's going to cast that Thought sees. Uh Could could be respond. Nope. Just kidding. Is it... What? Is it Charm? It, is it? Ah. Uh, <laughs> is it Charm? Snapcaster Mage. Ops. Cryptic Command. Thought Scour. Colgan's Command. Malik. Huh. I like Snapcaster. Taking that. Um, I mean, maybe how live the mana think, leak. Yeah, how live do you think that Snapcaster is right now? Well, I, I just think it's like... 
I mean, I guess, you know, Matt's probably sitting with a lot of removal, too, right? Um, but... Colgan's command is also a really good one. He's only on two mana, so it's like... No. So the going for the mana leak is basically Matt saying, I want to be able to resolve yep. my next spell, essentially. Which is going to be... Which is going to be the, the scavenging news, yeah. Ooh, he's fetching. Goes Shocking, to too. Ten. Three costs. Liliana. Oh, Lily. I really like of the last Rabble oak. Jund. And he's going to opt. Put that on the bottom. Draw a card. You know what hurts really bad? When you Thought Scour when you need a land and you just Thought Scour lands? Yeah, two lands away and then yep. you don't draw a land. You're like, mm -hmm. dang it. This is great. This is everything I want. Sulfur Falls. Bring back the memory. That's a card we don't have. That's true. We did at one point. Yeah. And then I think we flipped it. Because it's like, we're never going to play this in modern. Ever since Twins gone, who needs this card? I don't think we ever had Sulfur Falls. We had one. One? One. One more? Oh, you need more than one? No. No one needs more than one of that. Ooh, two damage? We were, like, real dumb. <laughs> I don't say that often about myself, but... Uh, <laughs> real dumb. Alright, so that Snapcaster is still in hand, so he has some live targets, except he doesn't have any mana to cast any of them. No. Two damage is coming across. He says, yeah, I'll take two. Goes to 11. Overgrown Tomb is going to come in tap to protect Matt's life total a little bit. I mean, he's at 8. Yeah. We could see some, like... I like the scavenging use here. Just go ahead and get that on the board to maybe... Yeah. I don't know if Michael has any creatures in his graveyard, but... Um... Tassiger? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You are correct. I'll tick. So even if he gets removed here, he's going to eat the Tassiker, go to nine. Which we could see. Yeah, I like him. Honestly, if he Colgan's commands, that scavenging news isn't going away. Right. So he could say, Colgan's command... Deal two to you, make you discard a card, or target. Oh, he's gonna target the Tassiker. Oh, snap! Snap, and okay. he'll say, "I'll eat it in response." Yeah, it gets eaten. Oh, I went to Liliana. Okay. So he'll gain a life off that. Yep. Lily's down to three loyalty, which is good. Now, this is magic, ladies and gentlemen. This grindy, did he I'm play, glad I'm not playing it. Did he play that watery grave? Untapped? No, he fetched for that, right? I don't think he fetched for it. So he must have just played it to put him at four mana? Yeah, I guess it's for the cryptic. So a freebie off Dark Confidant got him a land. Nice guy. Yeah, so Matt could go activate, move to combat, swing all these guys, which would play right into the cryptic, but he knows there's a cryptic. If he wrote stuff down, which, you know, something that all players should be doing. I agree. Tap your bros. Move to combat. All right. Tap your bros. Draw a card. Yeah. Yeah. 
Shannon keeping us on track. He put an island into play instead of that water grave, so we should be at 11 then. Thank you, Shannon. Ooh, wait a second. What? Oh, no, okay, okay, never mind. Never mind. It's that new rule with vehicles and stuff. Uh oh, to, to <laughs> sneak in. With I was it. like, I was like, oh, <laughs> activate this man, let's go. He, if he cryptic commands. And then Matt says, okay, cool. But he can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, we've clarified. Let's <laughs> go with bathroom break. Yep. It says, you hang out there. All right, we're back. We're back. Now you know the coast is clear, though, to play something, so we could do, like, Chandra here. No. Wait, I was right. I thought that's how that, not, that didn't work. Mm, yes. You are correct. That's not how that... But he, I think he got up to ask the question, hey, does this work? But that's not how that works. You are commencing with combat. And declare attackers. Right? Then activate abilities. So you've already declared your attackers. You've activated your abilities. We're going to let it slide, but that's not how that works. I don't know. I'm not a judge. I just talk about magic, that's all. Yeah, you can't... You. So, you declare your attackers, or move to combat, right? And if you're not activating it, and he says, okay, before combat, I'm gonna tamp your stuff, and then... I'm, I'm making a whole argument start and chat about it. I don't know. I I thought the whole big thing about crewing vehicles and activating man lands at the I'm sure there's start a caveat. of combat. I'm going to trust people that play a lot more than I do. All right. Matt gets priority after Michael casts a spell during beginning of combat. So we can then activate before declare attackers. Okay, cool. All right. So that okay. So that's the whole thing is it's the beginning of combat. Attackers have not been declared yet, so we can so, tap right. everything else. So lesson learned: if then, if you're gonna yes. play cryptic command and you're gonna tap down the attackers, then be sure to it's after the well no because you can't, no because you can't cryptic you and can't tap cryptic right yeah. So it has to be when you have... Well, no, you can't even... Okay. Oh, Matt's back at 10 off of the... Scoos. Right. There, yeah. yeah, okay, so that could be something you could do. Michael could have balanced the ravine with the other mode to avoid any attacks. Yeah, and it's too late to cryptic after declare attackers because everything's already tapped and attacked. Fair enough. Right? So he goes, Snapcaster. That's why I don't wear the His black charms. polo. That's the all judge, I'm, yeah, that's all judge, I'm going to say. Yeah. I don't wear the black polo. I don't, I don't want to even try that. No. Nope. I'm good. And he says, yeah, okay, attack in, we'll bolt you, we'll get the you The more there. you know. All right. The more you know. All right. Jund them in the face. Gets there. Game one. Dark side as well. That's what, I, that's what I've been told. Dark side on the table is the best side. Uh, that's, oh. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Earl Grey. Thank you for the follow Appreciate the support. Mm -hmm. Also, fantastic tea. <laughs> uh, and I don't drink tea. So. 
Why not? I don't... I don't understand. I like... I can get coffee, <laughs> but not tea? Why? I, I like water. Okay. And I like juice. Okay. And tea is in between them. And uh-huh. I don't like that. <laughs> like I, I don't like this watered down flavored stuff. I like I either want water or I want juice. I don't want this. <laughs> what day is legacy on? <laughs> he just he's like I'm done talking to you about this. We don't we don't record legacy. We don't. Um, do we, like, every so often during the week there is legacy that gets played, but it's not enough players to justify recording it at this time. Plus, we don't have the time to do it, so if somebody else wants to do it, good on ya. Like, you. Know? That's, <laughs> that's what it really boils down to. Ginger ale and green tea is life. You know, he, the commander allows you to name two things that you don't drink. I drink ginger ale rarely. You just told me that you drink water? No, no, I'm saying between between tea. Tea and is, juice. is in between those two in my mind. Dr. Right? Pepper and whiskey. Yes. Except uh, I'm more of a rum drinker, personally. Uh-huh. Speaking of drinking, we we uh we going out drinking? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? No, it's it's almost ten o'clock. No, we're not, not going tonight. out drinking, not man. Not tonight. You know get what it, I mean. Get it together. You know what I mean. You lush. <laughs> get it together. Yeah, that's the best. Lyle saying Legacy has been on hiatus for a while now. We just play in between rounds of Modern on Tuesday nights when we have five rounds, and we're like, oh, we're still waiting on, you know, this match on camera. Let's all just sit here and play Legacy. We all do that. Yep, waiting on you to get your storm back together so you can. Every one of us. Everybody does that. You know, Matt has storm together. You can he always does. you can always practice that a couple times and see if it's like, oh, you know what, I can play this. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know I can play it. <laughs> it's a fun deck. Yeah. Legacy, you do crazy stuff. You want to know why? Why? Dark Ritual. <laughs> Dark Ritual. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if it runs Dark Ritual anymore. Legacy has been picking back up in popularity. Storm is for scumbags. No doubt, dude. <laughs> Legacy has been picking up in popularity. Like, all those extended formats are, are doing better in popularity. You know, I think a big reason Legacy has also been picking up in popularity, too, is that there's been more of those team events, like the, the standard modern Legacy events. It's kind of requiring you yeah. to have a Legacy player on in your back pocket. Yeah, you know, just... You know, pocket, pocket, pocket Mercies, <laughs> Pocket Legacy. <laughs> Alright, players are shuffling up. What kind of jam is it? Oh, oh, oh this guy. <laughs> I'll be here all day. Well, maybe another round. <laughs> <laughs> did I play on camera? You did. Yeah, round one. You missed it, though. <laughs> You'll have to watch the VODs later. Yeah. Blueberry. Nice. Hmm. All right. Bloodstained Mire for Michael to start us off. Going to 17. Going to 15. <laughs> no, pass. No. We're, we're seeing a Thoughts Gower. Same thing. We're going to 17 off Watery Grave. We're going to Thought Gower ourselves. Nope. Or is he rushing it and he's already tapping it? It's no. 19. <laughs> Fine. Doesn't want to bolt him or anything. Then. Young Pyromancer. So he's got two graveyard cards here. Black Cleave Cliffs. 
Nihil Spellbomb. Mm-hmm. And Craft Digger's Cage. So he double checks. Says, okay, well, I guess my Snapcaster doesn't get to have fun. Nope. But my Pyromancer's are still alive. Mm-hmm. Don't miss your triggers. Attack. Attack. <laughs> Attack. I, what what can he do? He could play a land first. But but what but what for? Inquisition. Oh yeah, get rid of Lily. You can have your scoos. Trigger. Here's two. Send a message. Send the message. Don't care what you're doing. You Here's an attack. Inquisition after. <laughs> well, yeah, but. But yeah, proper what? sequencing. Is right? it not proper sequencing? I I still think well, him tapped out. It's kind of irrelevant. But I think in this sense, you're irrelevant. You <laughs> you don't drink tea. Yes, I don't drink tea. <laughs> you're right. But I don't need tea because I drink a lot of water. You know, drink tea, a lot of water. Tea is just water. Yeah, watered leaves, and I don't I don't need that. You know. Don't attack now. <laughs> Send a message. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> do something first. Yes. Trigger. Pew. Swing for four. Matt's down to 14. Very different game. Also, Michael is not kind of faulting on lands a little bit. That True. was a little bit last game, too. Pass. Where Matt is kind of having lots of lands. What do you think about the Cup Islands? <laughs> They're alright. Here's five. <laughs> Very pressing questions. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Pepper and rum greater than leaf water. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Going to game three to end it. Full art basics are weak. White border. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> no one supports you in this. <sighs> I don't even think I put white border. No, I put basic uh, full arts in this one. I, I don't even think I put white borders. Did I put white borders in that? Check that down. You didn't. Oh, man. I'm off my game. There's not a one. Mountain Splash asking, do we have access to the control list? Um, we don't, but we can <laughs> ask the question. We can, yeah, we can always ask Michael next time we see him if we can get access to his deck list. For you, Mountain Splash, anything. No, I, I think Michael would be cool with it. Mm -hmm. I have white border duels because I'm poor. 7th <laughs> edition basics. Way better than full art. Hashtag only white borders. Yeah. Mark. Mark. Mark, you're on the right. Confidant, please. <laughs> Remember that time <laughs> the first dark confidant hit the board and we were so excited? <laughs> Don't do this. Don't. <laughs> Don't do this. Yeah, you put this one in. How are you going to put this one in and not a... Uh... <sighs> You're right. I do like that one, though. Like, I like the, the background of it. You know? Seems very ominous. What what makes it... Never mind. The, the... I got it. <laughs> I know. Put these in there. No. Why not? I was going to say these. Oh. Why? So then you have a full deck to shuffle. Hashtag matching sleeves. Be careful with those spreading seas. But you haven't decided yet. So? We got a game number three. Who's going to take it? 
I mean, this is like Clash of the Titans, right? Like John Grixis. Yeah, this is this is a great grindy matchup to have them play against. Um, Command Lounge saying I want them new unstable lands. I actually think they're pretty cool. You know who else is <laughs> excited about those? No way. Um, Mr. Dances with Waffles over there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he said he's going to start picking some up. No way. I, I love Mark's choice there. He says, uh, only time I'm okay with, with white borders are for super hate cards like Blood Moon, Choke, or Ensnaring Bridge. I love it. Pro tip, just flip your card upside down when it becomes an island with spreading seas. Like face down. See, I know a lot of people that are like, they have the spreading seas underneath of it. I just put it on top. Just so, like, I know. Keeps me in, in line with it. So. But everyone's different on how they lay out their stuff. Alright, we're keeping six. We're scrying. Matt's deck was definitely mad at him that game. Bloodstained Mire. Ooh, it's one of those uh, those marked ones. The stamped ones yeah. from, from uh, going to those GPs. Yeah. Michael fetching down to 17. You thinking? Yeah. Why not? Thoughts Gara this time? Nah. Probably an Inquisition of Kozilek. Oh, 19. Wow. Inquisition of Kozilek. Oh, uh, right. Whoa, he Kitchen hasn't even, hasn't even resolved what it is yet, <laughs> Matt. Goyve and two scoos. What are you feeling here? Uh, Do you go for the Goyve because he's the biggest? All right. I mean, Goyve, I feel, is probably the one that most people would pick in this scenario because of the damage it could it could uh, mm -hmm. bring, right? Yes. How big he can get based on the cards that both players oh, have. Right, available. but Michael plays Fatal Push. He does play Fatal Push. So, you know, <clears throat> IDK. Oh, Mark Confidant, my man. I take it all back. Thank you so much <laughs> Thank for the you follow, dude. Crack of the Verdant here. Let's go find that Blood Crip. Alright, let's go into 16. Blood Crip. That's what I said. Blood Crip. Blood Crip? <laughs> Is he in a gang? You didn't know that? The Scoos? The Jun gang? Jun them in the face? With all their scavenging oozes. Their scoozes, as some might call them. Diction. You know, I mumble a lot. <laughs> you? <laughs> I am just, I am shocked. I figured you would be. Shocked. It is also a reason why I am not a professional streamer, because I mumble too much. Yo, Mountain Splash! Because that's the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Splash, thank you for the follow. <laughs> we got a second scavenging ooze on the board. Grabbing the watery grave, got the swamp. So is he 16 now? Well, is the scoot coming across for two? It did already. I guess he's gonna be. Wait a second, it didn't change, that's why. I think he's down to 15. Yeah. 
Or was he just shortcutting fetched on the end step to 16 and already untapped? Mm, well, he's at 15 regardless. Okay. Now we're stuck in this spot where he does not have a, a steam vent, a blood crib, no red source right now. Snapcaster. Declare blocker. Ugh. I'll push that. You'll take two. Curse that fatal push. Go to 13. There's a steam vents in hand. Basic mountain. Steam vents is going to be tapped. Here's a snapcaster. Target Inquisition of Kozilek. Push that. Push that guy. Yep. And and I'll lose my kitchen okay. things. But he can eat something here. Make his screws bigger. Mm -hmm. Gain a life. He might not have much left over, but he still has a good amount of threats here. All right. Second Snapcaster aided. So we'll assume that it was before damage, so he'll be at seven then. And there, there he is. There's the scarab god, the god of scarabs. Ah, uh, pass. Well, so he could say. I'll pay four, bring back your kitchen finks, gain two. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's still a green source for him to eat, whatever the target is. True. So he can attempt yeah, to eat something yeah, here. He's going to attempt... So there's, there are potential for three green sources right now for Matt. So he'll say, whatever you're going to do, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to go to 19, make my scoos bigger. Opt. I know that. It's <laughs> anywhere. That scavenging news is getting to just out of Scarab God blocking range. Yeah. Which is not good. So he'll go to 18. He still has two green sources that he'll be able to eat more creatures if need be. So you can say, I'll eat this guy. And, the, and he has to wait because Michael could respond... And say, okay, Scarab God will target that. And then he'll have another Scooz target the same thing. Now... My question, now that we have two scavenging news on the board, uh -huh. Matt was the one that initiated it, correct? Correct. So if Michael targets the creature to try and get it before it gets eaten, yeah. is it's important to denote which scoos was first and which scoos was second, right? Or does it matter? In, in this situation, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um... I mean, if you were trying to spread the counters across your creatures and make it go wide, then it can matter. But in this situation, it's not as okay. relevant. Okay. 
Alright, so he's going to try to plot seeds, and he'll say, okay, I'll mana leak that. Do you care about that? I believe so. And it looks like he does care. And that also can, can show where he goes, okay, I will, you know, I still think I would have played Snapcaster there. Um, Just to get it out on the board. Get it out on the board and not let him have a creature that he can eat right now. No, I got his two. He's at um, 17. Yeah, and now we're... Trade. You'll take three. You'll go to four. This guy will come back. But now... He's tapped. I think you blocked the... No, he had to, right? No, he would have been at one, so I don't know. I think kill the other Scoos, your Scarab God would still be alive, and then you could reanimate something this turn. That's I think that I line thinking. of play would have worked better. Yeah. Because now he has to do this chump block thing, and like the Scoos gets bigger and he kills him. I mean, you looked at his hand, he's only drawn one card from what you know. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, do you just, you activate Ravine and just swing? Yeah, go wide. Swing. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ooze can't eat the reanimated target if you're tapped out. So you block the other Scoos, and then untap, pay four, flashback the Snapcaster that was left, right? I think there was still a Snapcaster. I think he left up green. I thought he used the last one. I thought he was tapped out there. It doesn't matter. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Because I think he mana leaked and then made uh, his scoos bigger, eating something else. Oh, he yeah, really he would have been tapped out. out. He would have been tapped out then. And so, I don't know. Uh, it's... I like the Scarab God idea, but again, that shows you you have to be ahead on board for you do. Scarab God to matter. Hands Otherwise, down. it's just like, well, I can try to chump block for a little bit, but it's going to get out of hand. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I like that. Well played by Matt. You know, navigating through that with his sure. scoos, and it definitely made a big difference because on a deck that does rely on the graveyard interaction, especially since it's running Scarab God in there more than other control decks might. It definitely has an effect of things. Um, I don't know. That seems uh, pretty good. P pretty good overall. Um, overall, some pretty good matches, I'd say. You know, we got to see Dredge. We got to see Blue-White Control. We got to see Death Shadow. We got to see Jun, Grixis Control, uh, Storm, Eldrazi Tron. It's pretty buried. V pretty buried tonight. Tomorrow... We'll see, because it's knows. week seven, uh, and we're starting to get into the crunch time for the kind of closer to the top eight. Um, now it's going to start mattering a lot more about what players are playing. Yeah. You know? Some some of the early weeks, some people, like, dabble a little bit in some silly decks, maybe trying some different tweaks to it, seeing what works best. That's more of that kind of grind if you will and now it's like alright now I've got to play for keeps I need to make this this top 8 so um, if you guys like the, the stream tonight make sure you guys are hitting the follow subscribes all that kind of good stuff uh, we do go live every Monday at 6.30pm Eastern um, over here on twitch.tv slash modern magic Mondays we also have our YouTube channel for all the VODs get broken up uh, so you guys can be able to check that out. And again, that's youtube.com slash Modern Magic Mondays. Links are on the Twitch page, stuff like that. You can also follow us across the board. You can see down below, um, at Modern Mondays, which is, of course, the stream's Twitter. Farm and R, Real Nan Man, simple and easy uh, for you guys to be able to enjoy. Um, of course, this stream itself, uh, we do have kind of 
our two personal sponsorship through Patreon, and that's, of course, Trip over at Comic Kung Fu uh, and Real M&M over at Cork Street Tavern. He's also kind of our table drudge extraordinaire when uh, he's available. He's been super busy with real life and not able to join sure. us for that stuff. Um, but if you guys are interested in other stuff that we're working on, Brett does all sorts of variety streaming and gaming over on his channel. Mm -hmm. um, and you're kicking back up Wednesday with kind of, do we know what is being played yet? Not sure yet. Not sure yet? No. Um, so you guys can check that out. He does speedrunning, does all kinds of other fun games and stuff like that. Twitch.tv slash R. Might be getting back into the streaming stuff. I keep, and I'm playing games. I might as well be streaming. Um, Real so, life, what's that? Right? Real life? Who does that stuff? Um, so yeah, I've been doing other sort of projects on YouTube, like uh, the meta breakdown stuff, um, modern meta breakdown, standard meta breakdown, things like that for anybody that's interested, youtube.com slash nanman. Um, but I think that's going to do it for us, unless I forgot something. I probably I, You did. did it so well. I, you know, I was just practicing my... Uh... My price is right. Ah, I, I don't know if you guys know. That. No, 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 no. No, that was oh. that was really sexist of you. Why you were there's, doing this whole hand thing? There I is now, that there was... is now a male. I, I don't know. If last time I watched Price is Right. Yeah. What's this male individual? I name? mean, he's he's like an Adonis. He looks beautiful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Don't get me wrong. Mm. But no, I was watching the Price is Right on uh, on Friday last okay. week, and. Uh, yeah, I was, I was, impressed. I was like, I can do this. <laughs> this I can do this I job. Can, I can move to California and do this right now. Yeah. I mean, I don't look as good as he did, but well, you, you know. need the mutton chops. So that, no, that'll, he was that'll clean easily he put was clean you shaven. above him. I don't think so. Easy. I don't Easy. think so. Anyway, that's gonna do it for us, guys. <laughs> that's week number six. Week number seven is coming to you live next Monday, right here, twitch.tv slash Modern Magic Mondays at six thirty p.m. Eastern. And we will see you guys then.